Good afternoon again. Is Dr. Zhang's block time? Today I would like to revisit the older topic which uh, I already had on the uh, block about uh, nuclear transfer, and I would like to just uh, give some updated information. As you already know, nuclear transfer is a procedure which allow you to remove uh, nuclear DNA from one egg and transfer into another egg its nuclear DNA has already been removed so in this way you can create a new egg and that egg hopefully will be uh, reconstituted or reconstructed or rejuvenated can be used by fertilization and create normal offspring but I just want to introduce a little bit more about the technique. So the technique is as following. The first step of the technique is obtain the egg and the egg will be stabilized by the holding pipette. In this case, this is a fertilized egg with a tupernuclear. And a small incision was made on the egg zona, then the nuclear can be removed. And this nuclear can be switched to another egg in a similar stretch, but hopefully, and have a normal uh, DNA material. So this is the way to show how you can transfer nuclear from one egg into another egg. And this is the two nuclears already been transferred to the uh, subzona of the egg. Then through the electrofusion, the nuclear will be folded in. So this is a very simple schematic picture. Not exactly the same as what in the each individual technique, but just show you the concept how the nuclear transfer works. I would like to discuss in a few things. First of all, what's the application of this technique? Currently, the major application of this technique is for the patient with a special DNA defect in the cytoplasma, also we call it egg white. If you take the example of a chicken egg, then we can remove the egg yolk, which carries the nuclear DNAs, which determine who you are and who I am. And then nuclear can be then transferred into another egg, which is a normal egg white. In this way, these reconstituted oocytes can resume normal function, and of course, in turn, to produce healthy baby. So, as I said, you may have heard on the news and in the different medium, but uh, what I noticed in a completely different subject, some information not very correct and uh, some information not complete. So if you want to know more information about this technology, potential application, I will recommend you wait for a formal publication in a reputable scientific journal or you may get the information from the upcoming American Fertility Society meeting on October 19th in Utah. That will really give you a more accurate information about the techniques and what we exactly did with our colleagues uh, in Mexico clinics and uh, we have been very fortunately that we have uh, a great teams and we have uh, teams who work non-stop for the last 20 years and it's a great collaboration and the teamwork uh, between the clinics in two countries meaning in Mexico and uh, United States and this is a really a great international collaboration work and I would like to acknowledge all my team members and I also would like to show my uh, great sincere appreciations to the patients who are involved with this project for their uh, braveness and to participate in this project 
Thank you for your interest and uh, in the next few weeks in our blog I will talk about more about the other clinical application of this technique the, what that means this technique for the couples who have a genetic disease what kind of application this technique may be used for the couple with advanced maternal ages what application this technique for the couples who have multiple failure of infertility treatment what's the application of this technique for the same gender couples so i would like to slowly to explore all kind of possibility with you scientifically ethically and of course what the best for our patients and uh, looking forward to seeing you again and share more information with us. Thank you. Bye.